Bullet Train is the new action movie to close out the summer blockbuster season starring Brad Pitt and a bunch of cameos that you probably aren't expecting and we're going to discuss it in a spoiler review. I was really enjoying some of these action scenes but it got a little convoluted in some places but I think I came out of the theater really enjoying my experience a lot more than I was expecting. I think it's not a bad movie if you stopped watching the video here and you went into the theater and saw it. And that's the only sense you have to take in with you. I'd feel comfortable in you walking out feeling pretty much the same thing. I think if you're not careful, you can let the fun police get a hold of this one. But I think this movie is fun. I think it's bright. I think it's really, really loud. But what I like most about it is that it's shameless in like all the best ways. I wouldn't say there was a point in the movie from the beginning to the end where I wasn't having a good time. I didn't feel like... The jokes cut too deep for me. I had a good time watching the whole movie. Each Hickman was unique in how they went about it. You had the <clears> Hornet <throat> who was, you know, just going about it with poisoning foods or poisoning drinks or stuff like that. And then you got Ladybug who is usually just a snatch and grab kind of guy is in here now killing other assassins based off of yeah. just pure look. And he swears he has the worst look of all time but the wolf pulls up to him and he stabs the phone and even he, he this is the first thing he says to him he's like you're a lucky man the trailers for this movie really undersell how much of an actual ensemble cast this is they really lean into the yeah. brad pitt and they make you think that it's going to be the brad pitt movie and actually there's a lot of really great performances and really funny things that you see in this movie exclusively from uh, lemon and tangerine really love that <laughs> dynamic in the movie it was really the heart and soul for me in this movie but i do love that lady bug is not our traditional action hero where he's like very zen and trying to make sure that he's doing things very calmly he wants to talk things out he's really trying to give his his uh fellow assassins advice and shit and they're just not having it and every single time he's like well if we just would have talked this out you wouldn't be dead there's a lot of scenes with backstory and other places like weddings have like different cuts to different countries it almost in my eyes felt like an extension of the John Wick universe, but a little bit more cartoony. So even as I was watching scenes with the White Death, <laughs> I almost thought it was Keanu under the mask for a second. Though. I'm not going to lie yeah. to you. But you know what's funny about this movie is that it starts out as like pedal to the metal traditional action movie. At some point, it becomes like a whodunit movie, though. It's like they're all imposters amongst one another, trying to find out the one who's fucking everything up. I did tell myself, like, this movie is going on a little too long. It started to drag a little bit. I know it's only like two hours. That's a long two hours for me. I think this is some of the more unique action scenes that I've seen, especially early on. It's like this inclination, I feel like, for every action movie to kind of lean into like hyper realism. This movie understood the assignment. It knew exactly what it was, didn't shy away from it, lean further into it with these ridiculous over the top fight scenes. They didn't take themselves too serious. And I think that's where people will have a really good time in this movie theater experience is it is a fun movie to watch. You can go in. It's not any like crazy deeper meaning like, yeah, they talk about fate a whole bunch in this movie. And I was like kind of juggling around which character was going to be the, the MVP of the movie, which is absolutely lemon, by the way, Tom, Thomas, the train engine or whatever. The, the a great philosophy of life and i like that each one of their characters has a different action style to their character like lemon should have been like the brute of the twin dynamic of, of lemon and tangerine but he actually was more of the philosophical one that's very like we have to ask questions before we just start shooting it, it's broken up into like many acts depending on where they're stopping in the station and each station, you have one minute to either get off the train or figure out what the fuck's going on and get to that next part. So every time they got off the train, I was wondering, like, what's about to happen? Because, you know, they have to stay on the train to get the, the story moving forward. So when Tangerine's making fun of all the, the 90s boy band thugs from The White Death. I was like, OK, are they about to have like a quick fight, like a one minute fight scene and run back on? And I love that brad pitt's character like fucking does the suitcase and it all falls out just proving that like yeah. it, like yeah. little little humor breaks and and like that i this is what i'll say the humor breaks in between the action didn't take away from the movie in the same way that something like thor love and thunder did where it completely <laughs> derailed the seriousness because mm -hmm. this movie was never trying to be serious where thor love and thunder tries to have real implications of like cancer and god killing all with jokes this movie never tried to make you think this is nothing but serious i found myself having a much better time laughing at the movie than i did you know being in awe of the action which i which i really like too and there's kind of a, of a lull 
in the middle of this movie where they kind of mm. like they kind of take a breath for a minute they kind of let you sit with these characters it's after the white death like buys out all the seats and it's just them on the train and they're kind of having these character moments of like talking to each other and you're really like breaking down where they are with each other what their mindset is and then they pick right back up and the last like 30 minutes of this movie is like non-stop what the fuck action i do think i like the beginning of the movie more yeah but i didn't hate the ending i just like you said at the beginning a two-hour movie for this they could have trimmed 20 30 minutes of this movie made it a little more compact i think it would have been packaged and delivered a little bit better i do feel like the middle part with prince which was the daughter of the white death where they were showing up you know her being sentimental and all that stuff i just I felt like it was a it was a weird coming to an end part of the movie, but then like you said, there's like 25 minutes, 30 minutes of just straight smoke at the very end of it, and how crazy it really gets with the trail completely derailing, and then Brad Pitt's character flying through the whole train just to land on the plush doll at the end of it. It's like, man, this dude's luck just doesn't run out, and it's fun, but it's like, yeah, man, you could just, you really could have did it maybe 20, 30 minutes ahead of time, and the movie still would have had the same effect for me i think the action the comedy really works in this movie it's a good time at the movie theater especially if you got some friends to go see it with but i i would say just from a, a blockbuster action movie it's it's rocking like probably 6.5 out of 10 maybe 7 out of 10 on a really good day no no one's probably leaving bullet train being like that was the worst piece of shit i've ever seen i think you can go in and, and understand immediately what they were trying to set up for in that movie and they succeed in it i'm gonna give it a 6.5 as well this movie is so fun that I think if you don't like it, it's your fault. You're the <laughs> yeah. fun police, you're a narc, and you only want things to be in black and white and in French, and you're boring. I think I'll give it an eight because, man, going into that movie, you, you don't have to expect anything. You don't have to wait for this crazy, crazy complex plot. You don't have to really pay attention to the story that's going on at all because those parts seem to be the most dry for me anyways it's just you go and watch it and it's it's a fun movie to watch real quick love that the two thugs were like why the fuck we always got to open this shit what the word. Fuck? <laughs> word. Word. <laughs> love that how they wrote the characters in this if it was safe to open why he opening this shit so i just which was, I, it's a good fucking point all things considered point. solid <laughs> solid point let us know what you guys thought of bullet train we'd love to know your thoughts in the comment down below and if you like this video go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to join the dork side so you never miss one of our other movie discussions and you want to enter into that next gen console giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. And if you want to hear another movie review, we have our Nope spoiler discussion. Check out right here. And until the next time, guys, peace.